I'm on Main Street in McAllen at a local bookstore to meet with Sean Elliott Russell. He's a young Latino who, today, is not only a local hip-hop artist in the Rio Grande Valley, he's also a successful author of children's books, an entrepreneur, and inspirational speaker. So, Sean. Yes. Your book, Be Still, Little Tree, Be Still, mm -hmm. the story uh, is beautiful. And I know it's, it's a children's book, but the message here also speaks to adults. Can you tell us a little bit about Be Still, Little Tree, Be Still? Sure. So, Be Still, Little Tree, Be Still is a story about a little tree who's afraid of storms. He grows up in a nursery for a little bit, and so he gets planted in the yard, and that's when he realizes he's afraid of storms. Luckily, he's planted next to an older, wiser tree who learns the secret to weathering the storms in life. Be still, little tree, be still. Because we all go through storms, and sometimes I feel like we try to get away from storms. At least I know I did for a certain period of time. So when the tree finally gives himself permission to be still and feels the rain as it falls, don't say that it's bad, he hears the roar of the thunder that sounds like it's mad, he basically just feels the storm pass by and afterwards he realizes, hey, like I'm alright, I did it. Mm -hmm. So the little tree gets bigger, stronger, learns a little bit more about storms, that they're made to make us stronger. Mm -hmm. If rain didn't pour, we'd always be small. You may think it's bad, but it's not bad at all. And then at the end, after he's all grown up, the same grown up, a new little tree is planted in the yard. She's afraid of storms too, because she grew up in a nursery also. And now it's his turn to pass on the wisdom to her. The inspiration of mm -hmm. this book, where did that come from? Ten years old, I fell in love with hip-hop music. Mm -hmm. Absolutely fell in love with it. So this is MC Hammer. <laughs> this is... CNC Music Factory, which is kind of like hip-hop, more dance, but I used to love it. I yeah. used to dance to it, and I wasn't a super shy kid, but I was reserved, and mm -hmm. I would get nervous about going up to other kids, but when I was doing that, it just felt like I was another person. And, and then I started rapping along to the stories, and I fell in love with that, the storytelling, the beats, so I decided I was going to be a professional hip-hop artist. Every spare second I had that I wasn't working or sleeping or eating mm -hmm. or showering, mm -hmm. I was writing, recording, rehearsing, performing. And in 2013, I had a band that uh, my friends put together called the Van Goghs. Mm -hmm. And we finished recording the album and it was like, this is it. This is what we've been working for this whole time. We get invited to perform at the House of Blues in Houston, which is a big deal. It's a, that's a great venue for, for artists. And I'm at work and my heart just starts racing. And I don't know why it's doing that. And I can't get it to stop, and I freaked out. I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. I end up in the emergency room, and from then on, over the next year and a half, it got to the point where every time I tried to leave my house, I would panic. I wasn't having a heart attack, I was experiencing panic. Just waking up and realizing that I was alive brought panic for a while. Yeah. And then I ended up finding something called mindfulness and that really set the trajectory from where I'm at now and after working with that diligently I remember telling my mom I'm gonna figure this out I'm gonna figure out how to fix this quickly because anybody you ask you know it's gonna take a year two years and you go to therapy and it's gonna take a while and then you'll feel better I don't want to feel better in a year I want to feel better now yeah that's pretty powerful to be hit whatever our experiences whatever uh, pain or hurt or fear or insecurities that we're we're experiencing um, a lot of the times people do quit people bury themselves and they don't come out of it and they use things to cope with the fear the anxiety the the panic I tried to cope with it I tried to I tried to distract myself I tried to be the little tree who was trying to get out of the ground and get away from the mm -hmm. storm they tried to put me back on the same medication I was on in 2006, but it was a cocktail that was going to make me like a zombie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I just refused to be like a zombie. Yeah. So at that point, I had tried exercising it away. I took up golf again because I used to love to play golf. And I said, oh, let me just go throw myself in, in any activity I can to distract myself and make it go away. And none of it worked. So at that point, it was, okay, I'm going to go at this by myself and I'm going to figure it out and now Push I have through. to deal with the storm. You know, I feel just hearing you talk about your personal journey um, and having read the book uh, several times, 
um, that it's really a reflection of your experience in, mm. in your own life, but it's what we all go through at some point in our lives. There may be, um, you know, something that just impacts us in a way where we end up retreating. I feel like, you know, your story is about panic and going through transformation mm -hmm. um, and being able to use those experiences to inspire and, and motivate others. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, for those watching, Be Still Little Tree Be Still is sold at Amazon and Barnes and Noble. Amazon, Barnes and Noble, and we're gonna have to drop off some more copies here. We had some copies here and, and thankfully they've sold out. So we'll drop off some more copies here. And if you're interested in hearing it, mm -hmm. I offer it as a free download online. You just go to bestilllittletree.com. Okay. And you can hear the hip hop version for free. Yeah. I'll try to give away as much as possible because it's really about, I wrote it and started sending them out because I just wanted to help people. Mm -hmm. And so I, I make sure that that's my focus. So yeah, it's cool to sell books, but it's more cool to, to help others whenever you get a chance.